All right, our new Fox Business polls uh, reveal that Americans think President Biden is making inflation worse. Here now to weigh in is Ari Fleischer, former White House press secretary under President George W. Bush. He's also a Fox Business uh, contributor. So, Ari, um, the poll numbers, again, for the president are absolutely cataclysmic. They're in the dumpster. Um, you've been in White Houses like this. I mean, can a president come back and win re-election when you have so many things going poorly for you, whether it's the border, it's crime, it's inflation? I mean, you name it, the, President Biden isn't doing well anywhere in, poll, in, in polling. Well, first, Sean, the answer to your question to Senator Thune about football is clearly the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> so we just need to establish that before we get going. Well, we didn't disagree, um, Ari. In answer to your question about Joe Biden, um, the answer is yes. Presidents have bounced back. Uh, if you remember, Barack Obama was an unpopular president going into the second year of his presidency. He lost the House of Representatives with 70 uh, seats, switching from Democrat to Republican, one of the greatest shellackings in the history of the House of Representatives. And he went on to win re-election then in his 2012 uh, first time up re-election cycle. So the answer historically is yes. The problem Joe Biden has, though, is very different. He's going to, at all measurements, lose the House, lose the Senate in 2022, and he'll be 80 years old. And that's the difference. I just don't see a scenario in which Joe Biden will run for re-election, an 82-year-old president. I just don't see it. So I think everything is different with Joe Biden. Well, I'll tell you, Ari, I, I disagree with that. And just in regard to Joe Biden has spent his whole life wanting to run for president. He has now got the presidency. I don't think any polling or any advisor is going to stop him from running a, a second term. But you wrote recently a, a piece talking about if Joe Biden runs for a second term, the, the, the Democrats are going to take a shellacking. Why? Yeah. Well, that's the problem he's going to have. And maybe he'll run. I, just, I don't see it. But let's say he does run. He's going to lose. He's going to get defeated badly. American people are just not going to go for somebody at that age, and especially with somebody who already is showing he's slowing down the pressures of the age of that office, the way he walks, the way he speaks. I mean, it, all of it is an image of a president who doesn't have the vigor, the youth, the, the stamina to hold a job that's as punishing and as grueling as, as that job. So combine that with how unpopular he is, the problem the Democrats have going into 2022, it would take a huge reversal of the economy, which I don't rule out. Three years is a long way from now, but a huge reversal of the economy and all the problems about inflation and other things that you've been citing. And inflation is an even tougher issue for him because unlike unemployment, which spikes up and spikes down, inflation, as we knew from the 70s and 80s, is long lasting. We haven't dealt with it in 40 years, and now it's back. Yeah, you know, Ari, you know, you look at Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan lowered taxes. He set the Fed loose to raise rates and deal with inflation. So he knew that if he, you know, let these policies take hold and effect, the economy was going to come back and he could win re-election in 84. The problem that Joe Biden has is what? I mean, is it going to get any better? You know, the, the border issues? Is crime going to get any better? The massive spending that he's in, engaging in, is that going to make inflation any better? Every policy issue he's engaging in is not going to make things better. It's actually going to make things worse, which is why I, I don't think he'll have the poll numbers to, to actually win. And I had Joe Concha on yesterday, it, yesterday, and he said, it will not be Joe Biden. It's going to be the light and uh, savior of the Democrat Party, Hillary Clinton is supposed to be the one to run and, yeah. and run again. What do you think of that? I think it's fun. Um, right. <laughs> I'd be shocked. Okay. You know, look, I think the Democrats are in for generational change. Jo Joe Biden was a transitional figure. He won because he wasn't Donald Trump and he wouldn't tweet. And those are about the only two things he's done that he said he'd do. Everything else he said he'd do, he botched. He said he would uh, shut down the COVID virus. He didn't do it. He said he'd have an orderly withdrawal from Afghanistan, and he said that the Afghanistan army could hold back the Taliban. None of that came out to be true. He said immigration was seasonal. No, the border's being overrun. He's botched everything he's touched, was what put him in a lot, a lot of trouble. My only point to you, Sean, is politics should be measured for the here and now, the immediacy. Biden's in trouble. Democrats are in trouble. But three years is an awful long time, and Republicans need to prove that they can govern. Republicans need to be visible and aggressive about what their agenda is 
not just an anti-Biden agenda, but a pro-get-something-done agenda. I want to hear a little bit more about that. You know, Artie, I would just note that not, not only is, you know, three years is a long time in polling, but, you know, just the, 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 the 10 months between now and the midterm elections, that's a really long time, and, and yeah. things can change. My only concern on this is these policies, I think, are so bad uh, and so fundamentally change the course of the country for the worse uh, that I hope the, the country can survive it until we get new leadership inside the Congress and inside the White House. Um, so, listen, Aria, I appreciate you for joining me tonight. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate your insights. You got it. Great to see you.